What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you new, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great. But I got another one for y'all today. Today on the bench, I have my Arma Vendetta. Man, this thing is super quick. I purchased this car the way it is. This is not a build like my other vehicles. This one was uh, a purchase from the hobby store, RTR. The way it is right now is the way it came. So here we go. First thing I did, I did up it a little bit because when I first started driving, I did have a little rub on the bottom. This thing already has the body clips that I love, you know, because they're armor. They already come with the armor clips, of course. It did come with two spoilers, um, a high profile spoiler, which you can see it has a major curve on there for the downforce and then a high speed spoiler. And this one is pretty flat. Uh, it's just a flat bar that goes across. You could change it out. Um, I noticed when I changed it to my high speed spoiler, when I started hitting the high speeds, I started getting swiggly on the road. I noticed with this thing, it actually kept me stuck down to the road a lot better. So I swapped back to the curve one. And thanks to a couple guys online who did the nut and bolt trick. Because if you don't do that, man, and it's nothing that holds the spoiler down in the middle and it's just bolted on the edges and this thing be flopping like crazy and it actually just rip it right off the bolt to rip it right out of there. So a little mod right there to keep it sturdy. All right, let's get in here. So off the rip, the first thing you're gonna notice is that huge ESC. That is a Spectrum Firma 150 amp ESC. That is not the one that came in this car when I got it. Um, what came in this car was a Spectrum Firma 100 amp ESC, which is a lot smaller than this one. But I ended up making it work up there and it's up there, it's not going anywhere. I got it bolted down to the top of the receiver box and I got some Velcro down there, so it's not going anywhere. The motor, I did upgrade the motor when I first got the car, I upgraded the motor and the ESC, but I wasn't impressed with the speeds I was getting. I seen some guys running a stock motor online, running it on 4S and 6S, and this thing is a ripper, and it wasn't even getting hot running on 4S, and they say the car is only 3S capable. I would I would assume the ESC wouldn't be able to handle the 4S and the 6S pretty good, but that motor was handling it pretty good. But I wasn't getting the speeds that the guys was getting running 4S with the stock motor. I was getting some close speeds, but not, not where I wanted it to be. So I ended up putting the original motor back on there that came with the car and I kept the, the big ESC. And another upgrade I did was I went with the hot racing aluminum drive shaft. Haven't had any problems with that. It's, you can see it's still, still straight as an arrow. Um, couple, couple little marks right there from rubbing, uh, that was from the heat sink coming over, uh, when I had a bigger motor on there, um, the heat sink was rubbing on there and then, uh, right there, I had some longer bolts in there and it was rubbing on there a little bit, but didn't affect the drive shaft any, it still rides pretty smooth. Um, I purchased a different heat sink. It originally, it had a black heat sink, just the same as that one, but it was a black one to match with everything, but... I went with the orange to go with the orange theme, you know, a little orange I had going on with a Surpass Hobby Rocket fan. That thing blows super fast. Um, this video is going to be pretty short, guys, because I didn't really do any upgrades to it. This Velcro over here is for my speed meter. So later on, I'll get some run videos and you guys will actually see how fast this thing could go. But as you can see, I killed my tires, doing a lot of drifting. I'm not going to do that no more. Um, <laughs> I'll do that with these tires or I'll buy some drift tires. But when I first got it, that's all I was doing was just drifting around the corners and just flying, man. This thing is crazy fast. So, uh, I learned real fast, uh, how much you can go, how fast you can go through some tires. So these ones going to be my little drift tires until they blow up. And then, uh, I'll put my real tires on there. I'll buy, I'll purchase me a set of factory tires or I'll purchase some tires from, the felony or the infraction, and I'll make them work on here. The hex on here on the Vendetta and on the Sentin, on a lot of the 3S uh, models, they're 14 millimeter hubs. And on the felony and infraction and all of those guys, they're 17 millimeter hubs. So I just have to do a little modification to get that. But I'll let you know what I have on the way. I do have uh, aluminum 
tie bar links front and rear and i have the aluminum steering links coming i have aluminum shocks and i have aluminum arms for the front and the rear coming and all of that is going to be in silver so it's not here yet it is on the way when it get here i'll put it on the car and in the next video where you guys see it running i'll show you guys how it look with all the aluminum on there and uh you, you tell me what you think about it another upgrade i'm gonna do is eventually just like this setting where i upgraded the differentials to the metals um i'm gonna do it to this one because i know that for some reason those ones got to be plastic too if the sitting was plastic and they run on the same platform so i know that those things got to be plastic too but i haven't broken them because i haven't been doing any flips or any bashing you know what i mean just just some uh, drifting and some street running. So it's going to take a little bit more than that to strip them plastic gears. But I am ready when it do happen. I'll be throwing these metal ones in there and we'll get rolling with that. But uh, other than that, um, that's the upgrades I got. So that's another thing. One more thing. That Hobby Wing program card that I've been telling you guys about since the beginning that I use even for my BLX ESCs. It works on the Spectrum firm ESCs too. Um, so yeah, so I got this program all ready to go too. So yeah, that, that's another thing I wanted to show you guys. But that's the Arma Vendetta, guys. You guys let me know what you think. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.